Fuck you. I'm gonna do the clap. Yeah. Asshole. Yeah. <laughs> it was so funny. Devin hit. Uh, Devin Hale uh, was super into doing the clap for the music videos right here. He's like, no, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna. Do it. I'm like, all right, dude, whatever. Like, I don't really care. It's just kind of a thing. It's just a joke on the podcast. Now. Yeah, so now it's just a joke on here. So uh, I'll go ahead and get the introductions out of the way, and then I'm gonna go in on a little bit of a quick rant. Uh, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the On Did the Break you say podcast. What's everybody? What's, or what's up, up, everybody? <laughs> Welcome back to the On the Break podcast. My name is Matt Brinker. Kobe Likens is with me again as usual, and we have Tyler Tackett here with us today. I'll let him introduce himself in a moment, but first, I'm gonna go really <laughs> awkwardly into this little rant and just get it out there. If you say you're gonna do something, no. fucking do it. Like, do it. And this is no shade to either of you or okay, anybody cool. else that's in here. I thought so, it was no, about me and putting no, those online. No, they are actually <laughs> online. No, they are actually online right now somewhere. He, you have the podcast yeah, episodes on Anchor. On Anchor, yeah. There's, Anchor is supposed to distribute them to all the other platforms. But if you say you're going to do something, fucking do it. <laughs> just, like, just fucking do it. Because, or be honest about it if you're not going to do it. Yeah. I had a job I was going to do this weekend, and the person... Uh, it was their idea. The whole thing was set up by them, date, time, all of it. I talked to the person the day before. I knew the person was going to ghost me. I called them on it. They fucking ghosted me. I was in Chillicothe the entire day, hanging out, waiting for the fucking phone call to do it, or the text message, or any type of communication. None. And then I saw the person again yesterday, and the person gave me this long story about, oh, he lost her phone, and blah, 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 all that shit. Yeah, Which, sounds... I, yeah. Oh, you for your, yeah. <laughs> no, it's okay. No, it's okay. But then I was like, no, you were going to ghost me. And I knew it Saturday, which is why I <laughs> called you on it. Don't fucking lie to me. You knew you were going to ghost me. And I hate that shit more than anything. We're all fucking adults. Can we not just, like, if something's wrong with the podcast and you can't do it, you would text me. Yeah. Same as you would. You were a couple minutes behind today. Shot a text message, Joe, I'm running a little bit late. No big deal. Everybody knows what's up. Yeah. Like, just, that is so lost in today's <laughs> world of, like, just ghosting people in relationships or in friendships or even in, like, John, and this was this person's Dude, idea. I've got so many stories about ghosting Th- people. That's we what we should like do whole, today. Let's just do that. <laughs> people ghost now. Uh, we got to talk about what you about do about history. Stuff. <laughs> yeah, but like I just I don't know, man. And I'm just I'm I'm not like furious about it, but it just it makes me so mad that like the podcast is here because we just do stuff. Let's like let's do it. Okay, let's do it. And we just know we're gonna be here, and we're gonna shoot six o'clock on Tuesdays every single week. But like. This was that person's idea, and you fucking ghosted me. And then you came up with a fucking excuse that I don't think was even true, and just left me hanging, dude, all day. I had had organized my entire day around that one thing I was going to do because I was excited about it because it was something that I wanted to do, that it was going to be good for my portfolio, it was going to be a good thing for them also, and then that happened. So now that I made things really awkward <laughs> by ranting at the beginning of the podcast, <laughs> what's up, we're people? We're in the second 30 <laughs> yeah. minutes already. Yeah, we're already this, is what, yeah, this is what you guys miss if you don't watch the second half of the podcast is once everybody kind of gets settled in and gets comfortable, that's when starts, like, shit starts to flow and starts to get fun. So if you just <laughs> watch the little clips and that's all you watch or you watch the first 10 minutes and you skip out of it, you're missing all the good shit. Yeah, all of it. Yeah. All of it. Because you watch them. And like, the yeah. second half the second half of them yeah. are always way better. Yeah. Anyway. So much fun. <laughs> yeah. All right. That's out of the way, I think. Don't ghost people. Just be honest, man. It's not that hard. Tyler, who are you? What do you do? Well... As you said, my name is Tyler Tackett. Um, I'm from the Waverly Beaver area. Nice. Um, and uh, I run an account called Ohio Finds. Um, has to do a lot about history, um, a lot about the pr- preservation of history. Yep. And um, you know, we do a lot of a lot more other things other than history stuff. We do like a lot of try to do a lot of fundraisers and you know. Um, a little bit of chari- charitable events. Um, and you said account Instagram or uh, Instagram, other accounts? Facebook. Okay. We. we towards across all platforms yeah, pretty much across yeah. most of it um and uh yeah cool oh yeah yeah so i think we are going to talk about history and preservation of history and it's funny that like the first thing that popped in my head whenever you said you want to talk about pres- preservation of history i gotta slow down now okay enunciate <laughs> yeah. words Woosah. okay <laughs> here we go I used to argue with my mom all the time that history didn't matter. <laughs> like, when oh, I was a kid, I loved like, to argue. Oh, man. Man, when I was a kid, I was like, Mom, history doesn't matter. I don't need to read this fucking book. It doesn't matter at all. Now, I sense I, I, I believe history matters so much because 
life is cyclical and things do go in cycles. Mm -hmm. And if we don't watch and look at history and learn from history and what happens, we're destined to repeat those same mistakes and oh, do yeah. things. So Absolutely. In, in my world, in my viewpoint, history matters mostly because of that now. Also, like, you know, to know where you're from and where you come from and all that stuff is very important. Um, that's my that's my quick, like, history thing. Right. That's all I really know about it. Um, <laughs> I mean, without history, none of us would be here. Yeah, that's honestly. true. I mean, <laughs> that's honestly, true. I mean, literally. So. This is where Colby comes in with some, like, time-space bullshit. <laughs> well, I was going to say, have you guys ever looked into the fact that there's a black oh, hole in the Jesus center of our fuck, universe? I knew it. And we're just I living in an oh, infinite loop. No, I, just oh, no. I knew it was coming. Oh. Something was coming. I don't know anything about that, but I do know history is important. It is. Um, we will pay some bills real quick, and then we'll get back to all of that. Thank yeah. you, as always, to Six Sense Brewing for allowing us to film in here and for allowing us to drink the beer. Uh, this is Intuition. This is a straight up West Coast style IPA. Uh, I poured it before you got here, so Thank I you. didn't give you any chance to That's know right. what it That's was right. or, or <laughs> any input on whether you liked them or not, but uh, I knew you'd like it. Uh, Mike asked me to go ahead and um, do this one today because it is back uh, for the first time in a while. Uh, this is, like I said, a straight up West Coast style IPA. Super lots easy of, to drink. Lots of dry bitter hop. Actually, I haven't, I haven't even tried it yet. Uh, lots of dry bitter hoppiness. A uh, little bit of mm, lots, lots of earthy aroma, flavor, and all that stuff like normal. Thank you, Archinetti, for slamming the door. <laughs> oh man, that's good. Uh, so yeah. really smooth, really drinkable. I think it's about five and a half to six percent, something like that. It's not super strong. It might be closer to six, six and a half. I can't remember exactly. Uh, it's baby, basically the the baby version of Premonition, which we had a couple weeks ago, which is the double. This is another one. If I remember correctly, this is one of the first beers that they made that really kind of um, like was popular. Like, I've had this like, before. I had it like uh, maybe before you worked here. Yeah, a long time ago. And actually, no, I think that was not your stinking. We don't need your no stinking coast. I think is what I'm thinking. Is of. that what? Because this one, this one was, was popular and it was a good one, but I think there was one they called We Don't Need a Stinking Coast, I think, and that one was the one that started and turned into Merc Juice, okay, eventually, cool. I think. That's cool. But, but anyways, this was one of my favorites when I came in as a customer. Uh, I'm glad to have it back. Um, if you don't like IPAs, you won't like this one. Uh, if you like <laughs> IPAs, you will like this one. It's very good. Uh, and that's something that I know... As a bartender, oh, 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 I forgot. Oh, oh, shit, I forgot. Colby started as a bartender here last week. Whoa. Yeah, you did not know that? I didn't know that. Colby's first day was Thursday last awesome. week, and he's going to be back Thursday fun, again this yeah. week. It's a good time. And then from then on out, hopefully he's going to be my Thursday guy replacing me so I can have more time to do more media stuff. Yeah, you didn't know that, dude? Awesome, that's Colby's awesome. Colby's going to be a bartender. Awesome. Look, he's growing up right in front that's, of our eyes, everybody. Yep. <laughs> Anyways, as a bartender, um, I forget what I was going to say. Oh, we... Not every style is for every person when it comes to beer. Yeah. Um, but I think all the styles of the things that we make are very, very solid for what they are. So if you like an IPA, you're going to like any of our IPAs. Yeah, uh, sure. If you like New England style stuff, you're going to like them. If you like a half, you're going to like our half. If you like a porter, you're going to like our porter. Like they're all very, very true to style, very solid beers. And this is a prime example of that. Like it's just a straight up West Coast style IPA that you can get from any other big brewery, but we make it here in Jackson locally. So that's all I'll talk it's about. Better that. locally. Yeah, better local. Better. Drink beer better. made here. <laughs> I actually, I put that on every single post on uh, Instagram. Drink beer made here. Hashtag drink beer uh, made lo here. Yeah, local, drink local, think local, shop local. That's, blah, so, blah, blah. that's like Tyler Tag. Like yep, when you it. open his shirt up, Instead of having tattoos, he just has bumper stickers all yep. over him Love that say stuff like man. that, right? Yep. Yep. Does that not sound like oh, so yeah. you? Oh, What's your yeah. favorite bumper sticker? Do oh. you have a favorite? I don't know if he has. I don't think I have a I think all of them is my favorite, to be honest with you. All of them. You. Yeah. Every single one of them. Every single one of them. Do you, do you, is your car like covered no, in bumper like, stickers? Like oh. It used to be. You used to. Oh, my God. I used to be, yeah. It, I used to have a little Cavalier, and that thing was. Let's get some more that backstory a, here, because you guys are like childhood leader. best friends, right? Yeah, yeah, since we were like two. Yeah, so you guys were church each other together forever. when we were little kids. You went to yeah. where? Church together you went to when church? we were like little kids. Did the church burn down? <laughs> <laughs> it didn't. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I actually went to church too. Sidebar, it was a cult. That's another oh story for my gosh. <laughs> Whoa. That's another story for another time. <laughs> that's a whole like yeah. new podcast. Yeah, that's like, a whole different podcast. How I survived a cult. Yeah. <laughs> so, dude. 
I don't even get started because I've got another rant. Anyway, you guys grew up together, <laughs> yeah. friends, played music together, played or music, played yeah. sports. Play, we sports. learned all those things together. Yeah, it's did. not even that we played them. We did. We like, Do you still play music? Um, kind of. Kind of. <laughs> it's like I can play I guitar, but I haven't played it in like yeah. a year. So I mean, there's there's some things in the works. Oh, nice, cool, hell yeah! yeah. Things we can't talk about, things we can't not talk really. about. <laughs> cool. Not really. Yeah. Cool. Oh, oh, oh! I would oh. prefer be, not to. Yeah, be not secretive. To, That's fine. Have to do with me. No, it's okay. Um, so then, where do you live now? Do you still live in the same area? <laughs> yeah, I still okay. Live in, cool. Yeah. And then, where does this Ohio Finds account take you? Is it all around Ohio? Um, Are you mostly southeastern Ohio? And then you, I'd like, I'd like to, for you to talk a little bit more about what that, the Ohio Finds uh, brand and all of it is, what's behind it. You said there's fundraising, stuff like that. Yeah, like, yeah. What, what all, like, what all do you do? And what, um, I guess, what all do you do in, uh, in that one thing, but when it comes to, like, preserving history in Ohio, too? Right. Um, well, I, anytime I get a chance, uh, I'll go to anywhere in Ohio, <laughs> anywhere yeah. I haven't been before or have been. Um, and you know, I mean, a lot of it is just the adventure part of it. I yeah. mean, you know, you go to a certain town, you see a certain building that you, you know, that's old yeah. <laughs> and, and that looks, you know, kind of torn down a little bit, you know, but, uh, you go there and, 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 you know, you try to get a sense of like talking to the locals sometimes. Like I, I get into a habit of like, you know, you know, how old is this building or, yeah. or stuff like that? And, uh, you know, it, it's just really all about, trying to get people involved in like history again i mean history like, like you said it's a it's a big deal i mean it's a it's very important yeah and i mean i feel like the ohio finds page is is trying to get more people involved young and old yeah um you know to just actually you know give a crap again yeah. so and are you documenting I mean, through through text through photo through video all um, of it or? i'm a film photographer so okay. i do a lot of film okay i shoot a lot of film i knew so that I, I try to i yeah. try to shoot you know pictures of of these buildings these places these towns okay. oh, so yeah. um so i know nothing about film photography dude oh yeah I nothing. It's, it's great i mean like, it's, it's great like matt you, Day and you and did, like yeah. uh like richter messed with it jules messed with it like i don't know shit about it like yeah. i'm all digital everything yeah if you if you gave me a film actually jules put a film camera in my hand and i was like uh, like <laughs> yeah. it's, i have it's no fun. fucking clue how to use it's this great. thing at all i mean richter and matt <laughs> they you know they they really got me into shooting film really cool. I mean, you know you just see their work and and uh it, it kind of inspired me yeah. that was what 2014 i think 2014 yeah. 2014 because i was yeah. digital before then so um, and it was right i mean you literally just started taking photos yeah and immediately started you got a you got a, that that pentax yeah pentax k1000 yeah it is it's yeah, Great exactly. camera. I still have that camera, by the way. Yeah, I know so. nothing about that shit. Oh man, you you should but, you should yeah. try to. I I'd, I'd like to. I I don't need to spend any more money, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, I borrow some of mine. Yeah, I, I, mean, I, I should. Sh I just I feel like um, I mean, like I said, everything everything is cyclical, and we went all we went away from all the film to all digital yeah. hard, where mm -hmm. film was basically forgotten, and now it's coming back around. To, to the people, point yeah. also that you can't because when you first started doing film. You couldn't take your. I remember you would get your film and you would try to go get it developed, and you ran out of. After a while, you ran out of places to get yeah. it developed, so you yeah. started doing it yourself, right? Yeah, yeah, uh, yep. I did color back then, wow. back in the. I did color film and CVS, Walgreens. They would de they would develop it, but it would it would take a long time and it was expensive. And so then I just started shooting black and white. And black and white, you can do yourself. Yeah. Right in your bathroom. So really. Oh yeah. But you can't do color. No, it's really? a little bit of a. You can. I you don't. Yeah, okay. I haven't before, but you can. But it's just a little a little more technical see, I didn't process. Know that. Yeah, I didn't know that at all. Yeah, black and white's way way wow. easier. Wow, see that makes more sense now that I see so many of these film photographers with black and white instead of. More chemicals in, are involved with okay. um, with color. That makes so much more sense. Oh yeah, black and white is. The way I still to go. love digital though. I'm sorry. Oh, there's <laughs> nothing wrong with digital. <laughs> yeah. No, it's nothing wrong. I mean, I'm I love an old going. Ah, oh, that sucked. Delete. And exactly. Do it again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, there's you that know, review. There's, yeah. There's pros yeah. and cons. Yeah. For both, no, but it is so. cool, especially when it comes to like an old building that you're uh, photographing or something historic to use something like that that's so permanent. Absolutely. And it, it, it's. The photo has more meaning. It, it takes. It's there's more. That is more, the thrill. Yeah, that there's the more. Thrill. More. You have to be more careful. You, you're going to take a minute. And you're going to check your composition. You're going to do more yes. to try to preserve that historical thing with the film photos instead of just like 
yeah, exactly. find the best one. <laughs> well, which one of these yeah. is in focus? Yeah, well, yeah, <laughs> which one's in focus? Which yeah. one's good? And that's like, I, I took some photos yesterday. I actually meant to grab one. We get these new uh, howlers. They're half crowlers. Yeah, those um, are dope. And, dude, they are so cute. They're like the cutest little things in the world, man. <laughs> and uh, I was taking pictures of them yesterday, and I fired off, like, probably 25 pictures. And they were all pretty much what I wanted. I picked the composition and the framing and all that stuff. I, I, I set up the photo the way I wanted and then took, like, 25. And then, because I'm, like, I'm pretty steady. I'm not, I'm not Colby shaky, but um, <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty steady. Get the but, like, but, you know, like, I'm squatted down getting the photo. And, like, the, the framing's a little bit different all of them. I can fix that. But, like, I just found the one where I like the framing and everything the most and then edited that one, straightened it up a little bit. And that's what I did with it. But that's digital photography. I could take yeah. the 25 and go and then find exactly. the next one and go. Exactly. But um, I think one of my favorite things is whenever you go see these old places, you'll see pictures of them when they were in their prime. Yeah. And you'll take the picture now. Yeah. And you can see the difference. That's it's, cool. It's, it's, it's amazing, really. I mean, it, it, that's the thrill of Especially it. Especially when you're using a thrill. technology that hasn't aged basically exactly. since then. That's true. So you're putting it on the level playing ground. Exactly. To kind of make a comparison, yeah. yeah. So I do you have it. any, like, do you have, like, random, are you full of, like, random facts? No. No, oh, I mean, not, I'm not one of those people. I mean, there, there are a few facts, but it's just I'm not full of random facts. Uh, I wish I was. Yeah, no. I, was I like, wish I was. like this wealth of random facts uh, about, like, all I wish. stuff. I wish. He's like, by the way. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh, but, uh, like, I went, um, I had a guy take me for a job uh, around southeastern Ohio, and we went to MacArthur, and we went to Moonville, and we went to Lake Hope, and, and he was telling me all the history of it, and, like, I care a lot more now than I ever used to about that because yeah. I was like, so what is the Moonville, like, lore and all that and he oh, told me cool about story. it like, yeah. yeah and that's it, I, the, the photo I got from Moonville is dope as hell because there were two kids going in there to like tag it and spray paint inside the tunnel and I got them walking like which idea is probably not good by the way but <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure, judging by the reaction I'm not yeah. sure, well, sure if, about if, that. You, if you think about it is that not the same thing as it being eroded from the weather I mean, if you treat humans as if... Uh, <laughs> oh, my. Oh, no, wow. I'm just oh kidding. My. Oh, guys. oh, my. <laughs> Anyways, it's the tunnel, and it's, like, pitch black, and you can just see their silhouettes yeah. from the light on the other side, and, like, it looks really cool because of that. And they probably didn't know I was taking a picture, and you can't see what it is anyway, so they're not going to get in trouble. And... Facial recognition. Yeah, facial recognition. <laughs> Turn them into the clouds. Like, yeah. no, I'm not going to do that. I don't... I, I mean, I, I was inside... Actually, I wrecked my drone in that tunnel, too. <laughs> you had your drone flying down that tunnel. I flew the drone through the tunnel, and the obstacle avoidance, it was so dark in the tunnel that the obstacle avoidance <laughs> couldn't detect where it was. And wow. it, it actually got all the way through the tunnel, but then on the other side, it, it like kept going and it hit a tree. Like, I don't know if it hit a tree directly, but it clipped a branch for sure and just went down in the mud, and I had to go get it, but it, it was fine. It's, there's still mud on the drone <laughs> from it. <laughs> but anyways, learning about like Moonville and stuff like that was cool to me. I didn't know anything about that before. It's like, oh, that's awesome. Someone's coming to the And that's door. how we used to hang out, wasn't oh, it? Man. Like as friends, like oh, we man. would just travel and yeah. go see oh, cool stuff. Yeah, it's, it's, that's the best. I mean, Moonville is a great place. So to always... where do you have like a top place that you've been to? There's Arch Chinese Ice. Thanks, guys. <laughs> um, <laughs> someday we'll have a space where there's not any of that. I don't worry about it. Anyways. <laughs> Do you have a top, like, one, two, three, five, whatever places you've been to or, like, uh, experiences or stories? Or um, I do. Uh, one of my favorite places to go in Ohio is, is Lake Erie, like the Lake Erie, like yeah. Norwalk and, you know, Sandusky area. That's, that place is awesome. I mean, that place is filled with history. Um, they, actually, they actually have a speakeasy, a real speakeasy oh, really? still going in Sandusky. Yeah, yeah see, so you like that awesome. I love, though. And there, there's... And outside the door, there's there's uh, five lights, I think. And then you'll know when it's full when all five lights are up. But when <laughs> it's not full, a light will go, like, depending on how many people is allowed in. I think six or seven or eight at a time, I think. So really? That's actually in Sandusky, See, no, right on the like lake. like that, I love yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, that's, that stuff's dope. Yeah. Uh, we didn't, I didn't get to go there, but I seen it and people talked about it. But it was that's pretty cool. Um, Columbus is, is, is a really cool place, too. I love Columbus, Ohio. Yeah, I, I like love Columbus. Columbus. I mean, German Columbus village. German village area. Oh, my gosh. It's, it's, it's fantastic. A place is awesome. <laughs> um, it's filled with history, too. Um, and, you know, Northeast Ohio is, is probably my favorite, honestly. I mean, yeah. all of Northeast Ohio. But, yeah, it's... <clears throat> so I haven't spent much time. I, I've, the only time I really spent in Northeastern Ohio was... I've been to Youngstown a bunch. I've been to uh, Cleveland, uh, Akron a little bit. 
but it was always on business trips. It was always like in, I had business to take care of, out. <coughs> yeah. I never had time to explore so much. Yeah. And what are you laughing at? Uh, same for me. <laughs> <laughs> Except it was just girls that, that went to school at Kent State University. Oh, okay. I knew there was something funny going on in your brain, and I didn't that's know what, what it was. That's what I was thinking. And then you're like, business, just yeah, going up there, and then going business. right back home. Yeah, business your, trip. Yeah, business that's trip. That's your business trip. Yeah, that's Colby's <laughs> business trips are vastly different than my business trips. <laughs> we played music up there, too. Yeah. Colby, do you have a favorite destination in Ohio or something about Ohio or Ohio. historical anything? Uh, in Ohio, I'm not sure off the top of my head. I love Yellow Springs. I think Yellow Springs is Yellow gorgeous. Springs. I've never I think been if there. You haven't I've, been there. I've, yeah, go there, points. spend some time. Yeah. Um, I think <laughs> certain parts of Dayton are really pretty, even though it's like super like Dayton's rough. So, yeah, Dayton's it's really rough. rough. It's, rough. <laughs> it's a rough but place. It's got some really cool architecture there. Yeah. Oh, it really does. Oh yes. But yeah. I like. If we're talking outside of Ohio, I like Madison, Indiana. Whoa, like whoa. Madison, Indiana oh, is Madison, my Indiana. place. Like. I like Madison. I've been there. Have uh, you really? I've been to Madison, yes. Dude, I that's went, so cool. Uh, I had, back in my athletic days, I had a uh, national team trial up in Madison that I went to. But, again, I was this is a trip. I had to go in, compete, leave. And I, I think we, we had to explore a little bit, but not, never, that's never more than. That's about how much than, we, we've gotten yeah. out there, right? Yeah. Pretty much. yeah. You played music there, didn't we? Yeah, you, that, you guys played there, and I, yeah, I think yeah. I was playing Monopoly at your merch table. Yeah. And I played up there a couple yeah. times. What was that Monopoly? Called? Something. Oh, yeah. Like actual Monopoly? On oh, my phone. Oh, <laughs> There's Monopoly for your phone? Yes, and I purchased it. How purchased long does the game it. take? <laughs> um, it's according to who you're playing with. You need to play against somebody? Yeah. Like taking Online. turns? Yeah. Wow. That has to take forever. Well, yeah. It does. Gosh. Like words with friends times a thousand. We, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Matt driving down the road with words with friends. <laughs> oh, I've asked that here. Have you said that, said that to was on me. The podcast? I don't know if it was on the podcast, oh, but you said that to me. Oh, God. <laughs> Yeah, the other day, De- Dexter that used that helped out the one time that Aiden was being a slacker in, in California or something. Uh, I used to drive him from Jackson down to. Um, sorry, Aiden, I, we love you, man. I just. Oh yeah, it was Christmas. <laughs> Never mind. Sorry. Anyways, Dexter, I used to drive him from Jackson down to Gallia to, to work out, and there would be times. It was, was literally obsessed. Christmas Day. <laughs> and it was Christmas Day. I was obsessed with Words with Friends so much that I would drive from Jackson to Gaia <laughs> with my knee and then play as I went. Oh, my god! Which I don't recommend. That's terrible. I hope there's no, like, statue. I hope don't work with yeah. friends and drive. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> keep your phones out of your hands and keep both hands on the wheel and keep your eyes on the road, people, because uh, you can be gone like that. Yeah. Um, yep. So since I don't do that anymore. Then, then you'll be on, you'll be a piece of history. Yeah, then you'll be a piece of history. We don't want that. <laughs> you don't want that history. You don't want to be history you yet. Want, no. <laughs> all right. That's, That's awesome. Yeah, I don't do that anymore. Um, and Dexter likes to remind me about because that. Because no one plays Words with Friends anymore. That's, <laughs> yeah, that's I know. I think Words with Friends still is pretty healthy, honestly. I think it's making a comeback. I, really? Well, I, think, a real, I, I think it is. Are you playing Words with Friends? This is going to be this random episode. Ever, I'm so not. I <laughs> I'm personally not playing okay. it. I just remember that Danny, remember that in that one song, he said, you. okay, in the middle of this diss song my friend wrote, oh, man. he wrote a diss about this guy, and then... In one part, he just says, and you cheated me in words with friends. <laughs> oh, like, my gosh. <laughs> I just thought that was the best line in the whole song. That's the <laughs> ultimate diss song. Yeah. 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 Wait, is this recently or is this before? This is like Lord, 2012. Is... Same Danny I know or different Danny? Davis. Do you know my friend Danny? Davis. There's a Danny I met. Oh, you're talking about Danny Bolts. Okay. No, not no. him. All right. I am. Okay. Yeah, that there was recent diss tracks. Not was it him? Oh, was he involved no. in that? Well, it was, it was there was a guy named Dan who dissed me. Oh Jesus, Daniel, but oh, that's it. <laughs> no, so many diss tracks. So much hate going around. Dude, I don't get it. Hate. That's why I didn't put it's mine stupid. out because I just want to be positive. Do you have one? I wrote it. I'll oh, put it out. It, Is it recorded? Can it I use it for the intro and outro for this? Oh, that'd be awesome. If, the, if my vocals aren't in it, yeah. <laughs> no, I want the vocals. Well, I don't like mean things, so. Oh, you're I've so written nice. enough mean songs. So. Okay. I write um, nice songs now. So then, Colby, <laughs> what do you think? Like, what's your take on history and stuff? Because I gave I'm my obsessed little, with history. L- Tyler snapple. knows. I used to be like, I was the biggest nerd in school when it came to anything. Tyler can vouch for me. He was in a lot of my classes. Um, but when it came to history, I was a huge nerd. <laughs> And actually, that's kind of crazy, too, because in high school, I really didn't give a crap about history. Yeah. I didn't. Damn I really it. didn't. You're so fast. Have you, seen, have you noticed that, too? That he, oh, my gosh. Yeah. It's you've, gone. Yeah, you've had, like, one drink, yeah, and he's yeah. done, and I'm halfway through it like a null person. <laughs> I'm thirsty. <laughs> I got to work tonight. Yeah, that sucks. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, 
principles we say? History. Yeah. You so were not into you, history. No, I wasn't. I wasn't at all. I was. I mean, I didn't. I didn't care. I mean, people tried to get me to care, but I just didn't care, and I, I really regret that. I mean, I really do. Yeah. I wish I would have cared more. Um, and there's a there's a few buildings uh, in Waverly. Well, they're not there. Well, one of them's not there anymore. Uh, it was called the Emmett House. I don't know oh, if you ever heard of yeah, it. I've not. Yeah. It was it was around when we was in high school, and I just I didn't really. It was it was a restaurant like. I feel yeah. like so the Emmett House is a huge part of why you do Ohio Finds. Like, it really is. We lost that building 2014, I think. It went down in a fire. Oh, wow. It, it just it almost brings you to tears just to, you yeah. know, because it's gone. I mean, being who I am now and, and, and the history that I, you know, I love history. And that building being gone, it's, it's, uh, it takes a big chunk out of you, really. Yeah. I mean, because, I, mean, I don't know, you just look back on all the pictures and stuff from you know the 1860s of it and it's just like wow like that that building's not there anymore. yeah so i mean it's, that's, it's just good and that's like yeah. i can relate to that just with people i've like people i've lost in life is same thing like you mm-hmm. know people obviously are characters they have personalities yes. on that but like places you go architects and architects architecture yeah. buildings um just about their the environments you're around and you're in throughout the world all have character as well, oh, and yeah, when they're gone, absolutely. they're gone, and yeah. there's really no bringing it back. No, just like when the call, I, we talked last week when you came into the bar, like you know, even the bar here has its own culture, it has its own environment. And like, if that gets fucked up, when it's gone, it's gone. Oh, yeah, and there's no yeah. bringing it back, so no. you have to really protect those things. You do because when they're, when they're gone, you're not getting it back, and then you're just looking back on all the, on all the cool parts of yeah. what things were in pictures, and that's yeah. all you have, yeah, yeah, or just yeah, memories, pictures, yeah. whatever you've got left, yeah. yeah. Do you know that the place next to us, like, used to be, like, a funeral home? I did And then the actually. Colonial, and then it was, I think, vacant for a long time, and it's been arch for five years. I knew it was a Colonial. Yeah, it was a funeral home before that. I did not know that. There, yeah, wow, there's, like, uh, cool. yeah. And yeah. then it was a Mexican wow. restaurant. Was it a Mexican restaurant? Before it was arch it was a Mexican yeah. restaurant. What was it? Yeah, directly. Restaurant. That was the yeah. Colonial, so funeral home, Colonial. There may have been something before that, then Mexican restaurant, and then arch wow. I remember the Mexican yeah, restaurant. Yeah, I went up. We... I remember wow, when we just, first came up here. The first time that I ever came here, I think, was with you to Archinetti's. Yeah, it was. Yeah, they opened in 2013. It was. Yeah. Like uh, October of 13. Yeah. So they're a little over five years old now. But I just think it's, I always think it's funny. Like, wow, yeah, when they, I, I had no idea. When, when I first came to work here at the brewery, I you know, got shown around like I did for, for you. Like, this is everything. And I didn't take you to the spot where Grant took me. And he's like, yeah, this used to be a funeral home. Uh. This is blah, 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 blah. And I was like, oh, like, wow. I don't know if I'm supposed to tell anybody that, but hopefully Jamie doesn't, doesn't kill me. I don't think right. there's anything wrong with it. It's his history. In a funeral home. Yeah. So here's what pops in my mind when it comes to history. And I don't really want to take this super <laughs> political, but like watching what, what certain current people in our world are doing as leaders, other leaders have done the same shit. Dividing, conquering, blah, 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 put, pitting people against each other, all that. <laughs> And I think that if you're not keen to what has gone on in the past with leaders that have come to power and done awful things, and this is actually, this is a little bit of a sidebar, but I was talking to a guy one day and he was talking about Hitler. And this is going to sound completely wild when I first say it, but let me explain. He said, Hitler did great things. And I was like, excuse you? (laughs) And he said, no, 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 not good things. He did awful things, but they were grand. They were they were yeah. big things that yeah. he did. Yeah. And the, the things that he did were big, grand, great things. Not good things. They weren't they weren't pleasant. They were evil things. Yes. And he did that by doing a lot of the propaganda that we see going on in the world right now. Divide, conquer, blah, 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 pit people against each other, you know, lie through his teeth about and all that stuff. And like Again, not to take it super political, but, like, if you don't know the history of what happened before, you're not going to be able to identify that now. Well, plus, I mean, even, like, if you look at a lot of strategies that they've used in wars over and over and over, they use strategies that Julius Caesar used. Yeah. They use things that you can find in the art of war. They use the different, I don't don't know, it's just crazy, the the history that reflects, or that... um, kind of comes back into place and and you look at um songs and the way that the music industry works and it's cyclical. you know it, it always cyclical. comes yeah. back always. to play fashion like yeah. you said yeah um all things they it's it's just a cycle that's yeah. it yeah yeah well i was watching this is another random stupid thing i was watching a video that was like a a dance throughout the the years video and there's been, there have been many of different yeah. ones this is a new one it was two guys 
and the two guys were dancing, and it started in the 1930s, and like it went all the way to like the popular dances we have now, like flossing and blah blah blah, and like whip and nay nay and all that stuff. But, like, and honestly, it was really cool to like look at. Throughout the whole spectrum, they were all very different, but they're all very similar. Yeah. For the last hundred years, dance. And even like fashion, the fashion trends were all very different, but they were all very similarly different. Like they're, you know what I mean? Like they didn't look the same. The '90s didn't look like the '80s, didn't look like the '70s, but they were all very different in their own thing. But like now we're getting to the point where like the '60s and '70s are coming back a little bit, yeah. and this and that. And like well, you look at like heavy metal, and heavy metal comes from really strong Baroque roots, um, from you know like the 1600s, 1700s. Yeah. Uh, the way that the violins played, the way that the they they add double basses excessively, um, the the parts, the solos, um, the way that things lead into other parts, I mean it's all right there, and it just comes around and around and around, That's, yeah. and I mean you're always gonna have to take influence from something from before. Yeah. And if you listen to my music, even you can hear the influence of every single thing I've ever listened to in my yeah. life. So then, <clears throat> that was actually one of my next questions that I had, was history is obviously the past and all the things that, that have happened, but does history determine you and where you're going to go, or society and where it's going to go? Does it have to? Can you look at history and learn from it and go opposite, or does it have to point you in a certain direction? Like, like I guess the, the, way, the way I'm asking, the, what is in my head is, like you said, the music defines you. Like, could you, could you have had one small other influence that would have completely changed yeah. you, or is the the vast history of what you already had going to set you to be a certain musician I believe or society or everything that you do, everything that you've done, every bit of your environment creates a formula. Yeah, a yeah. formula in which all things that are coming into play in your life and your reality are kind of just reshaping and reshaping and reshaping that same formula over and over and over, never really getting an answer to yep. it, but just reshaping it and defining it even more and more. And I think that's why, like, you know, when you're younger, when you're 18, you kind of feel really lost. And it's because you're only uh, the, the product of everything that everybody else has told you up to that point in time. Yes. So from that point on, you're able to kind of start to make your own decisions and seek things out however you want to and see the world the way that you want to. But even still, you're going to approach those things based on what you've already experienced in yeah. your life. So I think it's, it's really formulaic, and, and you're pretty much, I wouldn't say predestined, because you're given those that's choices. Where I'm, is that, that, yeah, that's kind of where I'm going. Is, it, it is, is, is history going to lock you in and predestine you to something because of what it is, or is it just a piece of the puzzle? Well, let me ask you this. If I, um, this if is I a way put deeper a, question uh, than I thought we were going get, to get to, by the way. If I put a <laughs> bucket of, or a big bucket of water here yeah and you took a, a dropper and you dropped just one drop in there can you not tell before you even drop it where the ripples are going to be that it's going to ripple out and ripple yeah. out and ripple out yes okay and if you drop it again it's going to do the same thing right yes it's all just science when it comes down to that yeah but then the second drop is going to make the ripple is going to interfere with the other ripples and it's right. going to make more ripples and but you know that other. right yeah. based on past experience yeah and I think that's, that's really what it is, is, is that everything that's going to happen is going to happen. Yes. I mean, it's, it's just, it's right there. Yeah. I mean, all the so things like, through. Like the place burning down that you guys lost, in, what was it called again? Emmett House. Emmett House. The Emmett House, yeah. Um, that, like, that has shaped your life. Yeah. That's what <laughs> yeah, draw, it that's really a, did. Yeah. And really you, did. Said, you said that's very, like, I mean, so it's very influential for, for you. You said... Is that one thing, the thing that's put you to where you are right now? Like, or is it, is that, was that just another piece of the puzzle that got you to where you are? Well, I, I think that was the start of it, actually. Okay. I, that's, I that's really what I think was that, that was the start. Yeah, yeah. that was the start. Because now you have, you know, you had the M House, now you have another building that's, it's called the Greenbaum Building in Waverly that's completely just falling apart. And it yeah. just, it, it, it pains me so bad. So it just makes me mad, yeah. <laughs> really, what's going on there, because that's another part of, you know, what Waverly is like that's yes. what, that's what made Waverly in my opinion like that's that's I don't know I mean it's just it re, I really so is there me. anything that you can do then and this is off of the weird deep stuff we were talking about but is there anything you Sorry. can do no it's fine that, that's what I want like that's that's and I, that's you know, why I'm watched, here yeah, yeah. I know you've watched enough of this to know that we go yeah. on very different oh, yeah. 
places and things and always yeah. bring it back somehow. Yeah. Somehow, we always get back to Grandma's house. I don't know how. But. <laughs> <laughs> so like, is there something you can do with the Ohio Finds or that we can do, you know, collectively us or people watching or whatever, to save a place like that that is going to disrepair or that is falling apart? Is there anything fundraiser or awareness-wise that can be done to save some place like that? Well, to be honest with you, it all depends on who owns the building at the time. The people oh, wow. who own the Greenbaum building now, I, you know, I don't want to cause any kind of controversy, but they're not doing what should be done. Yeah. And they don't care, really. So there's really... Because the, the city has had several different um, like meetings about it, like trying to get it to where it, it's, it's beyond repair now. Yeah. You know, face it, it's just beyond repair. But uh, it really depends on who owns the place yeah. and, and how, what kind of drive they have to actually make it to where it, you know, needs to be and where it used to be. So, I mean, there's, but other than that, there is several things. I mean, you can, you can get involved with your community to, to try to, you know, get some commissioners to get you some money. Yeah. I mean, if that's possible, <laughs> it's if, anywhere. Uh, but you can, there's, there's several different things you can do. Uh, and it don't have to be a huge, like, thing that you do. To, it, it can be small increments of things, like... Yeah, but the like even posting a, a picture. Even posting a picture gets people involved. Makes people say, wow, that is a cool building. Yeah, or and, something and, like that. and they'll try it, you know, because... I don't have any money. I'm I'm not like a huge millionaire. You know what I mean? Like, Damn I, it. if I was, what the fuck's he doing here? Exactly. Exactly. What am I, I doing? Here? I need to millionaires leave. only on this podcast. He lies to me. Shit. He we lies to me. <laughs> we knew the fucking rules, Colby. <laughs> but if I was, and if I were, uh, you know, that would be a main thing for me is to get the place to where it used to be. Like, I don't care how much money it would take. Yeah. Not that I don't care how much money. So it would here's take. my question: When is a point when you um, make a decision on whether something you think it, this isn't like towards you or towards yeah, yeah, you yeah. or it, me or whoever. When's the point when we as a society decide something needs to be torn down and something new needs to be put up? Because there's a time, I, I believe there's a time to say, yes, we need this. We need to keep this building. We need to do this. We need to keep this rule. We need to do this. And then sometimes you have to slash and burn, you know, <coughs> and yeah. move forward. Oh, yeah. So when, when do you draw that line, you know? Well, for the Greenbaum building, it was when the current owners took all of the beams, support beams out of the inside and scrapped oh, wow. them. Uh, that's, that's, where that's, it, that's where it really starts. Yeah. Uh, and if you drive by the place today, you can see that it's, it's, it's nowhere near. It, the whole roof is caved in. Uh, part of the wall is, is, is So at that point, out. whoever created it is not being... Um, loved they're not getting right. the love for the no. building that no. and the work that they no. did at that point it's just an insult right. to their it to is what they've and done. you know i'm not saying anything bad i don't even know who owns it to be honest with you yeah but I, I just know that when i see like just just the word around town uh is just you know they're not really they don't really care about yeah. it and and it's actually becoming a hazard too because i mean well yeah that's part, i mean that, in that's the street part of it yeah i mean if that place i mean i'm gonna be honest with you i feel like the place will fall the next huge snowfall that's yeah. my prediction. I think. I think it you will, heard it here I first. Buy, you okay. heard it here first. Yeah, I wow. really do. I mean, I and we need to do something about it. I mean, you know, uh, yeah, if someone's walking, driving past, that's a lot of bricks. Like that, it is yeah, a lot that, of yeah. bricks. You're, it's gonna kill you. Yeah, you're gonna be. I mean, <laughs> honestly, it my, my only my only way to relate to that is there was this tree in the backyard at my house that I, I've known it was going down forever, and it, like I could just tell. So when I take the dogs, I start taking the dogs out the, to the front yard, and. <clears throat> Uh, there was one day I took the dogs out to the back and came back in and like 30 minutes, the wind was kind of strong. Like 30 minutes later, a big branch fell like right where we had been walking. And like, if that hit me, I'd be dead or the dog oh, yeah. for sure. Yeah. Like yeah. I have little dogs, I'd be oh, dead. Yeah. And then another big windstorm came through and the whole tree came down. And like, <laughs> I've been really mindful about not going back out there yeah. until that tree was down because yeah, if it's rainy and wet and you get a windy day or you get a big snowfall, it's going to go down. And same thing with that. Yeah. It's going to go down on bricks. I mean, a big building like that, you might be able to, to run a little bit, but it's still going to be debris and oh, see yeah. and track and all, 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 all stuff. Like, go ahead. No, go ahead. No, you go on. Well, there's a library. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I will. There's a yeah. library across the street yeah. from it. That's, I mean, 20 feet from it, I'd say. I mean, I mean this is a, this is a five, six-story building. I mean, yeah. I mean, they're just putting caution tape. Around. Yeah, it is, so and at some point it needs to come down. It needs to hazard. come down. Isn't there really like does. a barbecue it's, restaurant in front of it, or is that not there anymore? Um, I 
think they moved truck. somewhere else. Yeah, they moved somewhere then else. Then you have that bar out there. Yeah. And kids uh, going to the 23 highway. Studio, the highway. Kids going to the bar? <laughs> kids going to the bar. <laughs> what? <laughs> we don't condone that. No, but, but, yeah. yeah it, it's, it's, it's beyond repair. It needs to be taken down. Things like that kind of pain you to say, but it, it's true. But it needs to be done. Yeah. But then, like, I, that just, when you said you're know, taking it down, I was sort of thinking my only experience physically, like, being in a place where something was taken down was uh, I grew up in Galpolis uh, looking down the Canal River, and they took down the old silver bridge. Yeah. They, and there's a, my, I, I think my sister took the photo, I believe. But there's, there are many photos of, like, when the detonation uh, – of the explosions happened, like right when it happened before it actually started to fall. My dad has the picture hanging up in his garage there, but I was on the riverbank watching that happen and it blew out wow. the windows at my parents' house. I had to replace some of the windows because like the, the explosion was there, but that was an amazing thing to watch because I mean, it was, it's a big bridge there from Henderson over to Point Pleasant yeah. and they, they blew the damn thing up and then it went into the river and they went down and got all the stuff and scrapped it and all that. But like that, that's my only experience with that. You, know, you see all these cool videos of buildings going down there. That, that needs to happen at some yeah, point for this. Yeah, it, it really and, does. Like Galpolis, man. It, it's interesting to see the, the points when a town was almost there and yeah. then something crazy happened and it just changed everything. The Silver Bridge changed everything for that whole town. It did. It really like the, did. The, like original, was, yeah. the original one that went down. Yeah. See, that's two blocks from where my parents live, where I grew up. It, like the the... Where where the the road went onto the bridge is two blocks where I grew up. And Matt, right do you there. care to give us a backstory on that? Just so like you're from oh, Galpolis. The Mothman and all that? No, I mean sure, the, I guess. Uh, well, we the, love the, the Mothman. Yeah, oh dude. Oh, dude. Oh, love oh, Mothman. Gotta Ohio. get your cliche that's picture yeah, with the Ohio Mothman. Ohio history yeah. here. So <laughs> let's see, we're talking sixty seven, I think. Yeah. Sixty seven, I think it was sixty seven when it came down. Mm -hmm. So in Point Pleasant, West Virginia, there uh the wild backstory of all of it is like Indian, uh, Indian tribesmen and curses and stuff that led to this Mothman um, creature being spotted in the 60s. Uh, really, it was people that were on either LSD or whatever the fuck was going on <laughs> back then. Is all it really was. It was this winged humanoid creature. Well, that they were in those like little a... TNT buildings. Out yeah, out dude, there. You that's crazy out there, Have you been man. to TNT? <laughs> You've been to TNT before, I'm sure. Out in Point Pleasant? I, have not been I just really? went out there like not, this past I have year. I've not been inside. Right, so there's a place called TNT that was an yeah. old musicians. Uh, mus musicians. Munition. <laughs> they were playing some fucking yeah. music in there. <laughs> <laughs> they were all hot and all steep playing music and they found the Mothman. <laughs> Anyways, it's a munitions depot uh, from World War II, I believe. Yeah. Um, they had a bunch of ammunition and bombs and stuff stored out there. It's in Mason, West Virginia. Uh, there's also a really. I, it's funny, I know a lot about West Virginia history, shit like this, but I don't know anything about Ohio. There's also um, Lakin, the uh, insane asylum, I guess you'd call it. The old one I went into one night, and that was creepy as fuck, by the way. But Where's this at? That's in, in Mason, West Virginia. Um, there still is a mental, it's mental, mental, mental hospital, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it was an insane asylum before, and it was on the left side going towards Mason from Point Pleasant. But now the new one is on the right side. It's still there. It's a psychiatric ward is what it down is. Down Route there 2. Yeah, Down Route 2. It's a psychiatric mm -hmm. ward is what it is. Just like you're going to TNT. And the old, one, the old one was in disrepair and was, like, really sketchy, dangerous. And it was, like, when I was in high school, that was the thing to go, like, go try and, you know, see if we can see ghosts and all that stuff. But anyways, that's there. That's cool. TNT is on down the road. It's actually just before. The turn is just before. that motocross thing. That <laughs> yeah, the turn is just before to go to TNT. It's, like, a half a mile or a mile before if you're going from Point to Mason. It's near the um, fairgrounds, isn't it? Is yeah, it near the yeah you go past right the fairground there, turn the and then fairground. keep going and then very close to that is TNT and then the, the psychiatric ward, or whatever you want to call it, is on down from there. Anyways, the Mothman was rumored to be spotted and terrorizing Point Pleasant. There was a movie about it. It didn't make any damn sense when it came to the actual Mothman <laughs> history. Richard Gere, was, <laughs> Richard Gere was in it. It was fucking weird. And, like, it didn't make any damn sense. Um, but... But it made a lot of money for Point Pleasant, oh, West Virginia. Man. I'd probably not. Oh. It made a lot of money for Hollywood. Well, I mean, I mean, like the Mothman. Oh, the Mothman. In general, it's huge. There's the a hype behind that has made festival, so much money. There's Mothman. This. There's a the, museum. The, yeah, there's a museum. museum. There's a there's a beer called uh, I can't remember what it's called now. It's Mothman something. That, there's a wine Mothman. Uh, what's it called? It's a Mary family. Oh, uh, it's Mary family. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, there's a Mothman yeah. wine. It's like a whole thing. Anyways, this everything bridge, out there is Mothman. Yeah, coffee. Yeah. 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 It's a coffee. It's the whole thing. 
so in it's Canalga, Ohio is where I grew up, which is right across from Point Pleasant. Two blocks down from where I grew up, there was the connection from the Silver Bridge that went from Ohio to West Virginia. And somewhere in the 60s, I believe, I believe it was 67, the Mothman had been spotted many times and then was spotted on the bridge pulling a pin out and the bridge became... Wait, a, I've never heard no, that. There's, there's actually a picture of yeah, it. That's hilarious. Yeah, there's, there's a picture out there. Yeah, there are oh. pictures of it out there and there's all kinds of stuff. Like, the Mothman statues... Have you ever seen the Mothman <laughs> statue, dude? Wait. Yeah, yeah. Plenty of times. The, Hang I'm going to pull this pin out. <laughs> yes. Yeah, like, no, you the pulled act, one the, pin out and the whole well, bridge... No, it was, that's, okay, I'm not laughing at how many people's lives are lost. Oh, yeah, that's, that's a terrible, terrible yeah. event. Yeah. 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 But, like... But the story's fucking whack. The story's whack. Like, the whole lore of it. And I, you know... But it's, it's part of the whole culture and all the lore and all that. But apparently he was spotted like two or three days before on the bridge uh, pulling pins out or up in or whatever. <laughs> and then the bridge went down. And <laughs> Don't I was you think like someone would see those red eyes up there like... Uh, yeah. I don't just know, wandering. Shoot, just like, like, shoot it. I don't know. Something. <laughs> Anyways, I guess it was two or three days later that the, the bridge went down. I think it was somewhere around 60-ish people that died that were on the bridge. Um, another weird Ohio, West Virginia lore thing was uh, supposedly... Um, he, like, locked all their cars. <laughs> yeah, they couldn't get out. No, so, wow. They died, Colby, you fucking Dude, I shit. know. I feel bad about Like, I feel bad about what happened. I'm making fun of Mothman, not Yeah, Mothman, lives. not the people. Anyways, yeah. the divers that went down to try to recover anybody that might have survived or to find wreckage apparently saw catfish tails and catfish themselves the size of the vehicles that were in in the bottom of yeah. the river yeah and yeah. that's like a big like lure thing that there's like big gigantic catfish in the ohio river i've heard we that spoke I've to heard an that emt you remember we spoke to that emt yeah at kfc one time yeah that's we it. were at there kfc was... in gal Bliss, and he was like telling us he's like you know the main thing that people don't know about the whole thing is it almost nobody was killed on impact. He said everybody was killed once they were down there, already smashed, and they yeah. drowned. Yeah. yeah. Drowning was... And was that's a, awful. Yeah. Yeah. That's, I mean, that's, yeah, they were in their cars, and it went down. And actually, I believe it was in the winter time too, so the yep. cold water would have... Yep. I mean, you would have drowned before the hypothermia would have got to you, but, like, it all would have got you all at once. Oh, yeah. It's a terrible way to that's go, a by terrible, the way. Yeah. Awful. Yeah. That's awful. Can't man. even imagine. And where do we go from here, guys? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, all right, how do we lighten the mood? Yeah. Teletubbies. Uh, no, yeah. Teletubbies. Not Teletubbies. TVs on their oh bellies. My God. Like, <laughs> there was a meme that was up. It was like a, it was on the Gallia. It was on the meme Gallia page, and it was like you know, Gallia, uh, Gallia, Jackson, Oak Hill, and like everybody's like putting their hands in on top of each other. And then, like, a Teletubby hand went in, and it said Athens. <laughs> it like, no offense, Athens, but we all know you're pretty weird. <laughs> and, it, like, it pulled up, like, a wider shot of, like, all the cartoon characters, and it was, like, normal cartoon characters, and the, big, the Teletubby was, like, three times the size of the other ones, and it, the ham was in there. Hey, Anyways, Athens is a weird place. Athens is, Athens a, is a cool place, but it's, it's a, a cool really place. weird place. Yeah. It's very it's weird. Ca- okay, so I would say in, in southern Ohio, I would say Athens is probably the closest thing you'll find to Yellow Springs, but they're very different at the same time. In terms of like, so not I've seen, necessarily. I've seen the, Yellow Springs in photos and stuff. I've never been. I know that Dave Chappelle lives there. And there's a brewery <laughs> there. I know it's rumored that Dave Chappelle, like Mothman, can be spotted walking around town. <laughs> Pulling, Pulling pins. pins. <laughs> <laughs> Probably smoking dope or something, actually, is what he's really, really doing. But Dave Chappelle's walking around getting high. What are you doing space. over there? <laughs> Pulling a pin, <laughs> man. <laughs> I really should look up. We should like look up the actual story of Mothman and all that stuff. Because do not only there, but like if you don't know anything about Mothman, he's been supposedly spotted like all over the world. Like that's not like a new. There's yeah. also a New Jersey Mothman. Yeah, there, there's there's a Mothman. There's spotted a New, in Jersey, new Jersey, Jersey Devil too, there, and, a, and a Devil. Yeah, there is. There are also drugs all across the world that make you oh, hallucinate. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's true. <laughs> that's a thing. Yeah, that's and true. it was the '60s, so don't yeah. forget that part. Late yeah. '60s. So. so wait, do you believe in Bigfoot? Are you a Bigfoot? <laughs> are you a crypto? <laughs> Have you guys? Seen the, reason, no, the reason I'm laughing is because there was this video. Uh, Mike, the head brewer, was in a box pulling out these these <laughs> wait, things. He was in a box. And he, he was like, he was like down in a box. I thought it was funny that he was like, I couldn't. He was like almost ready to fall in the box, trying to get shit out of the box. And I was standing right there, and I recorded a little video. And Dustin, the guy that manages the truck, the food truck outside, like walks past in the background. And I showed the video to Dustin. He was like, God damn, I look like Bigfoot. <laughs> so we've been joking all week about Bigfoot, and like Dustin's the real Bigfoot and stuff. I am not a believer in any 
I, I'm not a conspiracy theory believer of any kind or any type of Loch Ness, blah, 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 Abominable Snowman, Bigfoot, any of that stuff. Like, I don't... I, Dragons. I, yeah, I don't... I, I think if there were... If those things were real by now with the technology and the things that we have in the world, we would know about it. We yeah, would see there's it. There's so much point. in the world that's, that's still unexplored. I agree with you 100%. I, I think the ocean is scary as fuck. Oh, I don't dude, know what I, the I fuck scary. Scary. Yeah, it's, I it's, this, That's yep. weird. Yeah, and that's is. where we come from, too. Like, those one-celled organisms come from the ocean. Yeah, the ocean and the deep depths of the ocean is scary as fuck. Like, yeah, I, I don't know what the hell's down there. There could be anything. <laughs> have you seen... Uh, uh, it was called Megalodon versus, oh, what was that? It was like Megalodon versus like Sharkosaurus Rex or some shit like that. I found, it was like 4 a.m. one time, dude, and I found Sharkosaurus it. Sharkosaurus yeah, It was terrible. Late night finds. It, it was terrible. I was like, I, I couldn't sleep. You're up watching the Golden Girls. No, you see not this the Golden, Golden Girls. Girls. <laughs> Did you see the shit about Betty White going around the internet recently? What, is her oh. 97th birthday the other day? Yeah, it was her 97th yeah. birthday. They were showing photos of her, like, when she was younger. And there was this one photo. It might have been Photoshopped. I didn't look that hard into it. But, like, she had she had a, a fucking butt on her. And the memes going around, dude. Where was the butt at? <laughs> it was on her like, head. Just, the memes going around. On her shoulder. The memes going around were like, <laughs> were like, yo, Betty White had a dump truck. And, like, oh, my God. She had a dog. And, like, oh, Lord. Yo, Betty White, this and that. It's all over Twitter, man. No, man, I don't see funny. it. Man. Anyways, that's hilarious. No. Anyways, no, this it's like it was some it was some stupid uh, creature battle movie. <laughs> it was terrible. It was like two hours long, and, <laughs> and you, I, watched, and you watched, it? I watched the whole thing. Oh. It was terrible. It's probably still on Netflix. I'm sure you can find it somewhere. Uh, you remember when we used to watch Old Brother Art Thou every day, oh, and we could every just day. quote it every, every day, every, every single, single day, every day, day. Point where we would just sit back and just before. <laughs> Like five seconds before every <laughs> single quote, quote all? we would just say, it. "Yeah, we know the entire yeah, movie. Yeah, the entire wow. movie. It's by yeah. far Can my favorite." Can that be a podcast movie. where you come back and just, you just, just oh, do the whole I would movie? Love to, oh, I'd love to. Could you do the whole movie just off the Probably. cuff right I'd now? Have to, I'd have to watch it again. Oh, okay, because I've watched friend? it in a few years. Not about you. I mean, we could do it, but we'd be in a tight spot. So, okay. uh, <laughs> I got you. That's a quote from the movie. I'm We're in a tight spot. Okay, we're in a tight spot. So hey, gonna, I want to say, hold on, thank you guys for having me on, by the way. <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't had an opportunity to say that, but I just wanted to thank uh, you guys. It, it, it's fine, man. We appreciate on. you coming sure. on. It's always a good time. Yeah, um, absolutely. And just, like, the different people and the different personalities and different stuff, it's always good. I've had good. to pee for, like, the last yeah, 25 <laughs> minutes. I've been like this. Like, <laughs> yeah, at least you haven't gotten up. No, you've got at least uh, about eight minutes. I'm going to pull a Wayne Stump Don't on you guys. Don't pull a Wayne guys. Stump. That's what I was going to say. Wayne oh, got up. Did you see last week? Wayne got up and left the OP right as I was talking to him. I'm like, having a question. He gets up and walks out. Oh, man. It's like to the point where I'm gonna sweat. Like I'm know, gonna dude. start sweating. Like I slept in today, and like I was in bed for a long time today. Anybody have a Gatorade didn't, bottle? Didn't get, <laughs> yeah, Wayne. Uh, no, I, didn't even, right I, I didn't get up this morning. I got up, no, I got up really early this morning at like six and went and pissed. And then like I was in bed forever. Like I'm, I'm fine. I could probably do this for two hours not to go pee. Well, I have to go to the bathroom, and I'm gonna go right now. You are right now. I'm no, gonna no, do it. Not. I'm pulling Oh Wayne. my god. Oh my uh, god. The seal has been broken, and now the wheels have fallen off oh, here on the podcast. Lord. The seal's been broken. Wayne, you fucked it up for everybody. Now Colby's doing it. I don't know how we're going to survive this. This is the beginning of the end. Tyler, you witnessed it here in person. Krista, Aiden, this is the beginning of the end. I'm sorry, guys. I'm just kidding. We'll be all right. We're fine. Um, we're fine. So where can we find you? Are there, like you said, Facebook and Instagram, correct? Yeah. yeah. And then how often are you posting? Is it a regular thing or is it just when stuff comes up? It's a regular thing. Uh, at Ohio Finds on Instagram. And Facebook. I use Instagram more than Facebook. Okay. So, uh, out of how I find. Um, also have an, uh, an Etsy, actually. Okay. So, high of finds on Etsy as well. What um, do you sell there? Well, actually, we... Uh, so we'll pip it out if you're selling stuff. Yeah, we... <laughs> actually, we go out and uh, just look for things that's, that's kind of cool, kind of interesting all around Ohio. Yeah. And, uh, you know, if we think it's cool, we'll, you know, we'll sell it. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, or keep it. Yeah, do you, I mean, do you just we'll buy it people, from wherever you get yeah, it? Yeah, wherever I find Yeah, I mean, sometimes you go to antique places. Sometimes you go to thrift stores. Yeah. Just, you know, if it's, has, if it's old, if it's vintage, you yeah. know, we'll, we'll buy it and, and uh, either sell it or keep it or just want to give people an opportunity to, you know, to actually see it, like, on the Instagram, like, oh, I found this, and, yeah. and then try to have it. And then have you can have a chance to yeah, purchase I mean, it. Yeah, it's just something yeah, small. Cool. I mean, so big. So if that building goes down in Waverly, will you record it as it goes? What will you do for that? If I'm if I'm in town, the time, 
I don't really know, uh, honestly. If it, if it, if I if I, I would catch want, it, yeah, me being if, you know the videographer, I would want footage of that going oh, yeah, down because yeah. it is important. It is right place it, at the right time. It is the end I mean, of of something that is historical and important yeah. and like so i would want to record that colby yeah. fucked it all up oh man i feel so much better now jesus though. we're gonna have to start doing an intermission at 30 minutes everybody go pee. <laughs> well it's just because like i always Aiden drink colby, we don't need a large anymore. coke yeah. on my way here dude then go piss and like a start. bottle of water <laughs> so i had a bottle of water and a large coke and i drank that beer real quick and man i just feel so good now so excuses yeah, Excuses. it's just an excuse. I just wanted to look at the um, bathroom to make sure it was clean. It is. Yeah, it is. Um, <laughs> Confirm. <laughs> Not now, though. I pissed all over it. All over the place. <laughs> Throw it now. Right down the sink. We were talking about when that building goes down, if he could capture it and document it. Like, I would love to. Like, oh, if, yeah. And seriously, if you can get like a date and time, if it does go down, like of planned... You yeah, know, if, if it's, yeah, planned, it's planned, I'd love to go record that. Oh, That's yeah. a cool collaboration, oh, yeah. too. Like... You know? Yeah, because it, and that's, I mean, so like I said, it's a part of history. Um, it sucks that it would come down, but it is probably going to at some point, whether it be because of the big snow or because it's planned. But to be able to capture that and document it and keep it, I think yeah. it's important. Dude, yeah, watching so the, did you actually see the house burn down? Were you there that night? I watched it on uh, Facebook. Dude, I lived with Riggs at the time, like two, three blocks away. <laughs> and we were going to Steak and Shake, and on the way there, it's like the Literally, most this, thing it's ever. like. <laughs> I don't know why that just stuck in my head. Like, that's just fucking Colby. We were going to Steak and Shake. What time was it? Like, it was, it was four in the morning. We were going it was to Steak like and Shake. probably 11 o'clock at night, I'd no, say. Oh, this was like four in the morning. Don't <laughs> yeah, lie. This has to be four in the morning. <laughs> yeah. So, it, like, the building's on fire, but the entire street, it's like, it's like it is outside right now, except, like, even snowier. Oh, yeah, yeah it was and a lot of snow. It was so bad, they couldn't put the fire out because the pipes were frozen. Yeah. Oh wow! So you had to just—they had to just sit there and slow watch, burn the fire just, and it, watch the whole thing yeah, burn. It, it, it burned slowly, and it was—that wow. was the most painful thing to see pictures and and, and videos. And from as back awful as something like that is, though, like as awful as it is for what it is, it's still really fucking dope. I bet those pictures and videos are are oh, beautiful yeah, images, right. and they're terrible. But just, chaos but, is beautiful yeah. sometimes. Honestly, oh, yeah. like the chaos of situations sometimes. Yeah. There's a picture. <laughs> That uh, of the building, and then just a line of cars that's parked, yeah. and all of the cars are so frozen because the, all the water and the foam and yeah. stuff they have, put, it, it's just completely crystallized. That's cool, though. It, it, it's yeah. You think about like that big famous shot that's on you know flags of our fathers that was in you know World War II. All those guys putting up that flag yep. after they had <laughs> conquered that mountain, you know, and it's like the amount of people that had to die to put that up, and all the struggle that had to go into that. Yep. It, it like it makes it even more beautiful. It's beautiful, you know, yeah. and that's yeah. that's what it is. It's yeah. like certain certain moments and certain photographs, and that's that's the coolest part of photography. Yeah, is just capturing. That's that's what I like about videography. Does a really good job of doing another route. It's not yeah. really the same way in that. Whereas photography captures like one moment, and I think that's what I like about film photography so much. Is like you guys were saying. So it's so. Um, precious because it's just like a second that's all you have yeah. you have one and if your shot your settings are fucked up it's done done yeah, yeah. and like you, you can, lost it yep you lost yep. it a whole shoot you yeah. can lose an entire yep. roll of film yeah. you I've, have I've lost done. plenty I've, of oh, rolls plenty 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 I, I've seen shots that I want to take I'll take it and it's just like wow well missed opportunity yeah. what's cool for me like too like outside of everything <laughs> we've been talking about is like to see like Tyler come on here today because Tyler who I grew up with would have never wanted to speak in front of people or speak in front of a camera. <laughs> you know, like, it's interesting to see yeah. a person, like, change over That's funny, because I've always wanted to public speak. I love it. Playing music broke broke that for me. Yeah. I mean, I just... You had to? Oh, you yeah. Had I had to. to. Yeah, you I had to. to. You were the lead singer of the band. Like, you, you had, well, You're streamer, there, yeah. so you have to yeah. speak. You were speaking all the time, and I was like, I was like, yeah, it, was. it just makes you proud, you know, of your yeah. friends, watching them, watching them grow Aww, and change. And I learned it, from the best. They're going to hug it out. Right here. Yeah. Yeah. Who's off camera? <laughs> I was like, learn from oh, the best. Yeah. Who's this off guy. camera over there? I don't know who's over there. I didn't there. know Chad, Chad from Nickelback was over there. <laughs> like, Look at this photograph. <laughs> there we go again. Is that the second week in a row that no, we, we talked? Up no, we talked about ago. we talked about uh, Scott from Creed last week. Oh, Scott Sturm. <laughs> yeah, Scott Sturm. 
Because <laughs> because Wayne's buddy looked like him. Remember? Right. Yeah. We There's talking about plenty that. of people in this world that look like Scott. Have Stapp. you seen the video? And it's the I'm sure you've seen it. The look at this graph. Yeah. yeah. Dude, those <laughs> memes are some of my favorite oh memes ever. We should just talk about memes one day. Okay. Yeah. We yeah. need someone. See, that's that'd be one like for like Caitlin. Like just get in, just get in the clouds and talk about memes. <laughs> Because that would be great. Anyways. Yeah. Well, if that goes down, controlled, I want to be there. And I think that's important, too. And I think what you're doing is super important, obviously. I think that goes without saying. I think I've learned, uh, I've said it on here before, actually, that my love for photography and for videography is the documentation and preservation oh, yeah. of the things and the stuff. And to go back and look at it and review it and relive it. Um, and I think that can be anything. It can be the audio, it can be the video, it can be the, the photo, it can be the image. And you're right about photos. <clears throat> Some photos are more powerful than videos. Yeah. As a general rule, <laughs> video is more powerful than photo. But right, for sure. You take that sure. shot of them lifting the flag or whatever it is. That's the difference is you get a shot, whereas a, a video can take you so deep into yeah. yeah. something. It yeah. can take you to a world you've never been to. Yeah, right. You know, you can look at a photo and say, I wish I could understand this. Yeah. And, you know, it's kind of like an imaginary kind of place. But sometimes video, video kind of bridges that gap yes. and kind of takes you there and allows you to see that stuff. So, yeah. so I, I think I would encourage people, and you would too, to photograph and document yes. these historical oh, yes. buildings and things and places. Uh, keep it. Share it. Like, put it out there. Yeah. Talk about it because it's important. And and one thing exactly. Like, I've noticed too is like at shows, music. I'm always pulled back to my ballpark, but you know, people always get pissed off about <laughs> someone having their phone out recording stuff on Snapchat, and that's not me. Don't get me wrong, that isn't me. Yeah. But everybody enjoys and and appreciates a moment differently. Some people want to remember it in their head, and some, some people, people are want just sharing it. it just for the moment so they can look cool exactly, for their friends. Yeah. Right. But yeah, like that Drake song. Yeah. The Drake song that <laughs> says that I think. Yeah. Most actually, most people are doing that, but. It is important. People right. are experiencing the moment. And, and you know, how many, how many old photos do you see that may have been the same concept? You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. May have been someone just taking a picture to look cool, but it was 100 years ago, so we don't see it that way, yeah. you know? Yeah. I don't know. It's just different. Yeah. People go on their yeah. Sunday morning hikes to PR themselves as, look how healthy I am, and take a <laughs> selfie at the top. <laughs> look or, at us surviving the Oregon Trail. Yeah. Wait, we don't have photography. Let's write it in our journal. <laughs> Oregon Trail. Do you remember that game? Yes. The original, <laughs> yes. That game you was You died of dysentery. <laughs> Everybody died. You died crossing the yes. river. You, <laughs> you starved to death. Your oxes broke yeah. their legs. Yes. Yeah. Your Everybody oxen, dies so. in the end. Yeah. I think that's about it. We are over the one hour mark as usual, so we're going to wrap it up. Tyler, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you um, for having so much, Tyler. Again, again thank, thanks, dude. Uh, sure. We would all encourage everybody to document, share, Discover. talk about. Yeah, go yeah, go discover. Go I mean, I, 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 this spring I want to go to Yellow Springs. I want to go around and do stuff. Absolutely. That's part of the whole reason why I picked up photo and video work in the first place is I can do it mobily. Yeah. I can do it anywhere for anybody and make money off of it if I do it right. right. And that's the last year has been about building a portfolio and gathering gear. And then this next year is about not only making money but traveling more and having more experiences. Yes. So I want to do more of that. See new places. So yeah. if I can, I mean, if I can help you, love to. But yeah, I will do it myself and share um, my travels as much as possible to try and get things going. And that's super important, though. Like, if you like food, go travel. If you like music, yeah. go travel. If you like photography, go travel. If you like beer, go travel. There's yep. go some other all. town and someone else who loves the same thing that you do. Yep. And, and just go see the world, dude, yep. because you're not stuck Go do wherever. shit. And don't lie to people and tell them you're going to do shit and then not fucking do it. <laughs> or ghost them, which is even the fucking worse. We're going to have a whole podcast. I hate being ghosted more than ghost. anything. I hate being close. That's why I fucking I'm glad you have your phone back, by the way. Yeah. Because I don't like not being able to talk to you. <laughs> that sounds like I, super I like, creepy girlfriend. I, I, don't like, I don't like it when I can't speak to you. I don't like it when you don't respond <laughs> Who are you talking to, Colby? No. I, I just heard your phone vibrate in your pocket. <laughs> <laughs> I've got my, my right. notifications We're turned on. Links down below, as usual. Thank you all so much for watching. We love your faces. Yeah. We out of here. Peace. Peace.